People come from all over the world because they share a passion about an issue, about a country, about a culture, about a language, even a village perhaps. There's a wide range of courses in the SOAS Summer School going from languages and music right through to law and politics. I think the academics that work here are amazing compared to anywhere else I've worked. I think I feel the passion more. Well, the Language Centre is uh, a department within the Faculty of Languages and Cultures. Uh, its primary aim is to deliver uh, high quality tuition in a very wide range of languages. If Sales have our own summer programme, and that combines English language courses with some subject courses with English support. The new academic summer school at uh, SOAS is a new initiative for us. Uh, it includes courses aimed at undergraduate students and covers politics of the Middle East, uh, law, human rights, labour movements and so on. The courses that we um, offer in widening participation are mainly summer schools and we offer a few master classes as well. The SOAS World Music Summer School um, has been going for about 10 years. It's an opportunity to take advantage of the many musical traditions that exist in London. In the summer school, uh, I know there are so many different instruments. Kora, obviously what I teach myself. You have the Senegalese Gambian Sabar uh, drumming. You have Brazilian like uh, Pandero and you have a variety of little different instruments. There's also like events, dancing, drumming, Kayleys, loads of concerts. There's something about SOAS that you can't really explain. It's just like uh, that positive energy that everybody is happy about. I didn't expect the area to be so green. So we can wander around and have lunch in the park and the museums are next door so we can go and have a visit after class. It's really nice. Within walking distance of SOAS is Bloomsbury. So you have amazing academic resources and then you also have museums and art galleries, the theatre district, Chinatown, that's all within walking distance. Historically, this being in Russell Square, you know, you historically had bohemian liberal uh, groups and, you know, activists, you know, talking in the various cafes around. It's nestled right at the heart of London, but not within the city of London. So you get a good blend of vibrancy, but modesty at the same time. London's really beautiful during the summer, especially with this weather. The public parks in particular, like Regent's Park, just down the road, is also really beautiful. We have the open air theatre. It's just a good chance to get lost and explore the things that aren't in a tourist map. I really like going down to Lambs Conduit Street. This a nice little area to sort of walk around in. Lambs Conduit's like a kind of little village atmosphere to it. There's quite a few um, street festivals and stuff like that. A couple of good pubs as well, so it's like a real mixture. Just go out. If you get lost, ask someone for directions. Like Everyone's friendly around here. There's a bowling alley as well. Bloomsbury bowling lanes. Yeah, all sorts. I am looking forward to teaching on the summer school. The advice I'd give to students coming here is come prepared not to sleep. You can work hard but there's plenty to do. You have a global metropolis on your doorstep.